I need someone to, or anybody, anyone, to help me understand why 2023 Disney Tops Chrome 100 is so expensive. I cannot understand this for the life of me, right? I'm sitting here and I honestly wasn't really aware that this was that big of a set. I kind of knew it existed. Uh, I knew for sure that Disney or Kana was, you know, kind of popular, but Disney's top Chrome is just on another level, especially with 2023. And I believe this is the first Disney Tops Chrome set that's ever released. So it is a first, but these prices are just ridiculous. And I'm sitting here, right? Looking at these prices on eBay, this is just insane. And it got me thinking, <laughs> why? <laughs> why? Right. So I went to Cardboard Connection. I'm looking at the checklist. Right. And it's a hundred card base set. Uh, and I was just curious as to, you know, around how many boxes of this exist, how many packs exist. So I kind of did some math here. And there's a hundred card base set with one. There's a one on one super factor for each base card. Or there's, there's technically a one on one for every card in the set. But I decided to do the math here and to pack a base 101 Super Factor is one in every 4,581 packs. You times that by 100, <laughs> that gives you 458,100 packs, which would translate to a total of 25,450 total boxes minimum, right? 25,000, that's a lot of boxes. That is a lot of boxes. Considering that these boxes are selling for around $1,000 a piece, that is $25 million. <laughs> that is ridiculous, right? And that's not even, that's not the minimum I found. There's actually a platinum set with a subset in, in Disney Top Chrome. There's 17 total cards with a one of one for each character. And they are one in every 27,203 packs. You times that by 17, that gives you 462,451 total packs, which would equal 25,691 boxes. So that's an extra 200 boxes compared to the, the base one one super factors. <laughs> With this many boxes made, why are these, why, why are they so expensive, right? So then I went over to eBay. And I'm looking at these at these these sold listings. And the first thing I did just to see how delusional people are is you go to just look up Disney Tops Chrome 100 and look up highest price sold. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay. The first thing, the first listing, <laughs> if you're having a crazy day worrying about money, just know that someone out here did this. Someone out here in the world that you're walking, you're walking with this person is alive just like you are. They did this. Someone bought. A quad facsimile. This is not even a real autograph. It's a facsimile autograph from Disney Tops Chrome, the 101 Super Factor quad autograph of Sleeping Beauty, Snow White, Cinderella, and Rapunzel. You want to guess how much that card sold for in a PSA 9? $23,988. <laughs> that is crazy. That's 50 bids. 50 with $30 shipping, $24,000 for a quad autograph. That's not even a real autograph. It's literally a facsimile fake sticker autograph <laughs> of characters that don't even exist. They're not even real. They're not real. <laughs> Why? Why? And then you go down a couple listings and you see a Peter Pan base 101 Super Factor and a PSA 9. Do you want to guess how much that sold for? $10,000. $99. <laughs> what? Make, make it make sense. Make it make sense. I just don't get it. What are you, what are people basing the values of these cards off of? Now, don't get me wrong. With the stuff that I collect, I collect non-sports cards. Yeah, so I'm editing this and I, I, as I was editing this, I realized that I have been buying and collect, I guess, not really collect, but I definitely have been buying Marvel Platinum cards which are essentially the same thing as this for for the most part uh but the the, the difference that I have I have with it is the cards that I'm buying are sub $1 and the boxes from Marvel Platinum go for around $250 while this set 
is going for a thousand dollars and it, it just i i guess it's the same thing so i'm kind of contradicting myself here but i just i don't think i think the price difference is just too big for it to for it not to matter you know what i mean it definitely matters why why is this box a thousand dollars i i i don't know that's yeah so it's not not sports right everybody knows sports is based off of performance in the game being a hall of famer like how good they compare to other players right that's just basic and you know even with me with non-sports cards all the stuff that i collect is the real people they're real people doing a real job and some of those people are way better than others right for example with the game of thrones you have uh, if you've ever seen game of thrones in season seven and eight the the character in the show leanna mormont lady leanna mormont in real life her name is bella ramsey right bella ramsey was in game of thrones this is way before the last of us came out uh i i'm not 100 percent sure on how many how much her cards were going for back then but i i, I can assure you that once the last of us came out and and bella ramsey landed the lead role of ellie her cards shot up in price her autograph shot up in price crazy hundreds of dollars for her autograph or maybe not now since the show came out a little while ago but when that show came out it was hundred dollar plus autograph <laughs> how do you you can't you can't do that with this you can't do that with these cards you know what i mean for me i feel as though these cards values can only go down once they start making more disney top scrum 2024 just came out so that's another set with all those one-on-ones <laughs> it just this just doesn't make sense to me it doesn't make sense to me and then next thing i did was you can unfilter sold and highest or you can unfilter the highest price still still go with sold right then just go with ended recently some of the numbered cards you get only sell for a couple dollars and mind you you're only guaranteed four numbered cards per box four if you're paying a thousand dollars per box you would really need not including the base card values not including the 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 the, the base for the silver refractors well even though some of the silver refractors go for a decent amount of money but you're really just going for the numbered cards you would need each numbered card to value at 250 dollars <laughs> you can go on ebay right now i'm looking at sold listings right in front of me you have an out of 23 jiminy cricket numbered out of 23 for 50 dollars a luca from luca out of 23 32 dollars you have what else what else literally just i'm doing this live in person you have a judy hops orange wave out of 25 only 42 dollars <laughs> you have lotso green out of 99 for 12 dollars you have oswald out of 99 for three dollars that's not including shipping but you get my point it <laughs> There's just there's just nothing to base off of it. I'm not I'm not I'm a big fan. I grew up on Disney. I literally grew up watching all these movies. I grew up watching Lilo and Stitch, Monsters Inc., Toy Story, Jungle Book, all the Disney princess movies. You know what I mean? I some my generation really grew up on this stuff. And I I'm a big fan of Disney. I think a, a lot of movies are good now, you know, a lot of political problems nowadays, but mine but without talking about that, you know what I mean? It's not it's it just i can't understand i genuinely do not understand you know what i mean and i and I, i've definitely been looking into buying some of these for cheap you know what i mean looking at right now stitch my favorite disney character of all time i literally out of 3.99 just sold for on november 2nd for 12 dollars. well it was 17 dollars shipping but still it just i've been thinking about picking something up some of these but there's just no way you can afford a box for a thousand dollars can someone explain these prices to me, please? Please. Am I am I in the wrong here? Am I in the wrong for thinking that these are just way overpriced? I have no idea. Just someone help me out here, please.